mm -hmm. couple of ones as well, but here we go. We're walking top eight finishes as well. It's really solid stuff. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. Duke versus Ty. What do you think? What are you gonna be looking for out of this set? Uh, I'm really gonna be looking for Newt's laser placement, um, his laser patterns and the tempo in which he uses them. And from Ty, I'm gonna be looking for any kind of adaptation because really, Marth has to play the defensive game against Falco. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you're right too because, like, you know, how well, how well does he play? I like the laser reptile a lot. Laser yes, reptile and laser jab are the only uh, they can true connect. Or laser, uh, excuse me, laser reptile and laser jab they true connect. So that's one thing to keep in mind right now, at those sort of close ranges, and he laser after them multiple times at star. I love the crouch in reaction to the mist tech that Ty did. Kind of yeah. covers every option if you're sharp. Um, so very important to kind of... I think they're both definitely feeling each other out to some extent. Um, yeah, which is definitely. always what you want to see in, in top level matches is when they don't overcommit early and they kind of test each other's neutral interactions, test each other's defensive games and really um, kind of see what works and what doesn't. So I'm sure we'll see some additional adaptations going through as this, uh, as this set progresses. Well, one thing I'm already noticing too is a Newt is shooting, oh, okay, he did a low laser, but he had started shooting high lasers and I saw Ty crouch, use Mark's crouch to crouch under it. Mm -hmm. So if he gets that and say like Nuke commits in, he may try to down tilt and catch the landing of the laser. Uh, the laser. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I love that. He, he did a slide off tech and then pretty much avoided any additional platform follow-ups from... Yeah, very excellent. Not really much that you can do there if you're high. I mean, you pretty much have to reset the situation and just treat it that he's in the corner. Get a 4B. Oh, does not... Uh, does not finish him off with the up B there. Yeah, I like the Nair, but it, he was a little bit late on the execution there. And there's that crouch again. You saw they crouched over one laser there. He power shields the next one. But I'm going to be looking at how Ty will be navigating around the lasers right now. And it seems like Newt has done a good job at adjusting it. He's gone high, low, high, low multiple times. Uh, I love that angle from Newt, but Ty is just able to stuff it out with the most busted down tilt in the uh, game. Oh, that could be Ty in trouble there, but Newt gets out of it. I'm not able to convert. An amazing slap. Wow, that was a really good slap there at that high percent. But right now, Duke's commanding center. Yeah, uh, he might have not read a roll in, but he um, instinctively dashed towards center stage and was able to react to any option that Ty gave out. Yeah, pretty much. It's just kind of like, I'm commanding this space right now. Whatever you do, you're going to be in a bad spot. Yeah, and that's just basically good stage control. And it's important yeah. um, to build up your fundamentals with in general. Yeah, and it's like, it's at that point, it's like, like you said, it's not really much read. It's just pretty much pure reaction, like you said. And yeah, Newt takes game one. Popping off, dude. Well done by Newt. Uh, Newt what do you think? Yep. <laughs> Newt, Newt, as most people would say in chat right now. Uh, what do you think? Where do you think Ty would counterpick, and what do you think Newt would ban? Um, I'd say. I'd say Ty should probably stay Pokemon. I feel like that's still. Marth's best non-FD stage in this matchup. Yeah, it's like if, it's the equivalent because of the horizontal yeah. space. If not, I do know that Ty has taken a lot of spaces to Yoshi's before, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that either. Yeah, probably once he go to the kills too if he does go to story because edgeguard situations have to open up so much earlier on stages like uh, stages like story because of the small size. So like usually like maybe a, maybe a Marth fort or tech chase or whatever, or like an up throw. That can yep. lead into being off stage, and usually on three or, four, or like three or four chains, whatever on a regular stage, on story that can happen in like two or three interactions. Yeah, and this is about what we expected. I think uh, Ty and Marth in general just favor uh, a little bit more room to dash back. Uh, yeah, low profile as many lasers as possible, uh, and try to just find an opening. Goes just goes for the raw F smash. There, really interesting option there. Yeah, very much so right now. Maybe trying to see like oh, how the quick... dropping chain grabs. That's interesting. Yeah. Newt all oh, down to, to down air. He is dead. Great weight by Newt. Wow, yeah. and he takes first on clean. And you're right right now. Let's see. Oh, he messes up again. A little bit of a tech bubble. You saw he put up his shield. So Ty not looking too common in the chain grabs right now. It seems like Newt is starting to go in. Oh, I love the shine zero, on the zero to 61 and counter. 
Yeah, and Ty is just not ready for Newt's laser placements either. You see how he's still getting oh, all he shines him off the top. Oh, he gets shine off the top from that. But when when Newt does these falling lasers, Ty's getting hit almost every time, and it's opening him up every single time for these huge conversions from Newt. Yeah, it just seems it just seems like you know he's starting to become a step ahead. It's kind of like what we saw a little bit last set, except this time I think it's a lot more commanding. Yeah, and you it can tell like Ty is getting a burn. Yeah, and Ty's getting a little bit nervous because you can tell when when Marth start doing like a approaching um, nair like that, uh, like a short hop nair towards you as a as a base approach. That is one of the most unsafe options oh. that Marth can do. He and just Ty got poked with like the babyest of downers too on the bottom, back of Marth's leg. Yeah. And I don't know. It looks like right now Ty gets the sock, but Newt is quickly running away with us right now with the tempo this set is at. Yeah, I mean, it seems like Newt's taking an early command of, of the pace of the match, of, of where he wants Ty to be, what lasers he wants Ty to be reacting to, and just picking his openings as well as he can. It just doesn't seem like Ty can keep up right now. Oh, oh that could have been an opening there, but Newt gets out of it. And oh, gets up a little bit early there, but... He's just trying to command center stage right now. He's trying to go for laser up tilts, but the laser is missing. And Ty just uh, just does uh, up B does not reach the ledge. Ooh, that's a wow. That could have been tight there. That could have been really scary there because you saw that worst case scenario. If, if Newt dies there, it, but the four B hits, he takes Ty with him because four B spikes there. Yeah, but I think that's a pretty practiced uh, interaction from Ty, so I don't think he was too concerned about it. Yeah. Yeah, try, uh, try, try to 